evening and welcome back again. If you remember in the previous lecture, we talked about the exactness condition, right? How, if you have a differential equation, how do you know how to recognize it's a uh, exact or not? What was the equation to check it? What was the tool? Exactly, thank, thank you. It was partial, for example, I have a m dx plus n dy equal to zero or to anything. So we say that to check, first we need to check exactness by partial m by partial y should be equal to partial n by partial x. Am I right? Good. And we did it together. Most of the examples, we did it together. Now, today, we are going to next step. How to solve them. We need to, briefly, we need to construct f, a function, which contains x and y. How? You can say partial f by partial x equal to m and partial f by partial y equal to n. We are, we are going to use one of them. So, and we are going to use both of them. But at the beginning, for example, the students are free to use that one or that one. So maybe that one's first, second, or that one's first, second, and first. You got it? So our construction is what? Our duty is to find f of x, which contains f x y. Good. Maybe it's not easy on your, on, on your mind, so you need to, to solve an example, then you will get the rest. And be, be with me, that, that all this one is details. I don't want details. I want a method, how to solve it. Look. Look at here. Here's your example. You checked and you know it's a exact. Check exact. Oh, check. Second, I say, Tony, you need to distinguish m equal to 2xy and n equal to x squared minus 1. Am I right? Good. Uh, this example uh, also can be solved by. Uh, Yes, can be solved by separable. Good. Now, I say partial f by partial x b m. You remember that? We say we have two things, so I'm going to use that one. Okay. So I say partial f by partial x equal to where is m to x y. Now. To get f, I need to do what? Take integral, am I right? So I'm going to take integral for both sides. And I'll get what? I'll get f of x and y will be what? And I'll write dx. I'll get what? Hello? Okay. I'll get y x square. Integral here by x. By x. If you integrate the left side, the right side, you'll get what? Y will be the constant. So it remains X over with DX and F of X, Y, 2Y, X squared over 2, am I right? And plus a function with Y. Let me say called GY. Later on, I'll tell you why we have GY. <laughs> then, I'll write X square Y, GY. Why we put GY? Because, you know, for example, if my function F of X is equal to X square Y plus, for example, Y. If I take a derivative, I'll get what? Hello? 
I'll get what? If I take a derivative, let that one be 3, 1 over 3. I'll get what? 1 over 3, 3x squared y plus 0. Am I right? Clear? How about if it's y squared? The same. The same. Y will be 0. How about if I have a sine of y? Same, right? Why? Because we took a derivative by x. We took a derivative by x. So if I have anything else here, if I have anything else, if I have a y, y squared, squared of y, sine of y, anything, the later the derivative will be what? So that's why when I try to bring back this function to its origin, كاكا جا موبايل تان دانا بليس. بيرف ضروري بشو دارت كوتاي بيه بينو رو جورو. If I wanna get the origin one, اقاب مي اصلا قم دا سكيتو, so I will do what? I'm going to take an integral, I will get what? f of x, y, of course, x, Square, for example, by dx, I'm a x cubed over 3, right? I'm a y is plus something. I don't know what's that thing. Maybe y, maybe y squared. I don't know. You got it, Banu Khan? Tamam? Good. You get the point? That's why when we took an integral, we add g of y. Clear. You got it? Good. Now, after we start with the fg dx, which is equal to m, then we go to f of x, y, equal to, I don't know, equal to what? Let me check it. x squared y, g, y. Do you agree with me? Till now? Good. Now, we have what? And also, if you remember, I say we have two things. Maybe we start with that one, we will use the other one. So I'm going to use the other one to get f. So what's a gy? I don't want a gy. I want f of x, y, that all. So I say partial f by partial y equal to n. So means that this partial, let me in the left side, Left side, I say equal to what? I say time by y. I'll get x squared gy prime. Am I right? Hello? Derivate phi over phi y. Why? Derivate phi over phi y x constant. G y over phi x. Derivate phi y. I derivate phi gy over phi y. Gy prime. You got it? Good. Inja, then, I n a katachan. By n a katachan, minus m. N, it was given, I think. It was x squared minus y, 1 minus x squared. Let me check. x squared minus y, you are right. Tamam? Now, we cancel this one. g y prime, it will be minus 1. Am I right? How about gy will be what? Who knows? Minus y. Because I'm going to take a derivative. That's for sure. At least you know. So minus y. Now, my f of x, y, which was x squared y, gy, will be changed to what? x squared y, Minus y. Clear? Now we got what? f of x, y. Then your solution, we say my solution, is x squared minus y will be c. 
Do you remember we do the C in the previous one? I'm bringing it back. So maybe somebody will try to make it more nice, take a Y. Maybe somebody like to be. I do many things. And you need to know about the steps. First, Kaka. I put, we have, I distinguish between M and N. Why? Because my M will be F over X and my N will be F over Y. Be careful. We start with here by integral. Uh -huh. By integral. We got F but with g of y then we took a partial by y we got something with g y prime what's equal to n clear then we took an integral again we get f of x y clearly without any gy or h of x or any functions. Then we change that one to c, we got the result. Of course, I know it's a lot, it's not easy, but you need to practice one, two examples. Clear, dears? This is the first. The second things, sometimes we say partial f by partial x, but sometimes we wrote or by y, but sometimes we wrote g does y. Why? Because here f is a function with x and y. But here g is a function with only y. So if your function f of x, for example, equal to x squared, you say y prime. If your function z is contains x and y, so you say partial f by partial x or y. You got it here? So if it's your function contains one variable, is dash, like a calculus one. If it's a two variables, it will be partial. Clear? Okay. Let's go to the second example. Maybe 20% you understand. Because the second example will be 60. Understood? So please be with me. I'm example here. So we are going to the second example. Ah, oops, a lot. It's okay, a lot. But the same strategies. Okay. No, it's don't work. Nothing happens. You know, we have a math. There is no way to run. We should finish, then we are going to, yeah, make a, using the this, uh, fire distinguisher. Okay, good. Now we have this one. We test before the exact, you remember. So the first things, how to answer. Say check partial m equal to over y equal to partial n to partial x. Is that good? So means that's exact. It's the first. The second. Go to what? Go to distinguish. Where is M? M is equal to? Where is N? Tamam? You got it, dear? Hello? Good. So... Now your duty is using m by x, sorry, using that one or at the beginning, and third step, or in the first example use what? m. Now I'm going to use n. Okay, dears? To be coincide with the, uh, your lecture, with the lecture note. Otherwise, please try at home to use M. Clear? Hello? Good. Now, I will say 
partial f by partial y equal to 2x e to power 2y minus x cosine xy plus 2y. Why? Because partial f y will be equal to n. That's why. Now, what's your duty? Can you tell me? What shall we do next step? Huh? Integral for the fourth. Thank you. Anya, we want f. So, integral of the other side will be f x y. Am I right? Then integral by what? No. Here's integral of here by y. So, integral of here by y. The first example, it was by x because we used the m. But in the second example, we used n, so it's, it, was, it should be by y. You got it, dear? Shall I repeat that step? Huh? Search. Clarity is going to Huh? Was it? What one? The step you pursue here, okay? You should have done it by the way. We give a f. Yan ama, yan ama. When is ama by the way? I'm partially f p y. I cut the n. Qua n or n? So what is it? Good. In the next step, step you do it. Integral by the way. I'm partially f by partial y. Integral by. Pasha. حذاك أتوني حتى هني كتب أو عيني سيادة 2x into 2y x cosine xy plus 2y هم عيني تأمبر هذا أو عيني ديكم باشا كاكا أو جاتي عديا بيتسم دكتورين دي واي كم بدو توقع استعادة انتقال بو هر دولا كلير سو انتقال بو ذا دريفاتف Cancel here again. Let's see again, won't you? Play it here, Lee. Get it here, look at first step. Hello? Which case show here, look at Lee? F? No. A number here, look at. Integral by PY. Look at the two x again, Chin. Constant in a part here. Integral of I'm integral like that, she can't get. I got it. But one boy. Drivetti had to go. Had to be a cut one over two. Do you agree with me? Hello? Calculus one and two. So I will get one over two e to power two. Integral here, I got it. Integral of x cosine xy but 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 pt dy so it's easier integral of cosine sine but I'm, we need derivative of here derivative of here is equal to what it's derivative ka na kacha na angle ka derivative by by yes 1y plus no Package. How many? X Y. I'm excited. My area. Basha. Bojwani. Integral here. Kata chi is direct. Now I'm not direct. Alina kata koi. Okay. But I bet derivative angle like a little bit heavy. I'm of course by Y. So derivative of X Y kata chan by Y. Only X Y. So we have it or not? We have it, so it remains itself. Kata uba chi. I'm gonna do some little solve here, kam. A little. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do minus here, kam. Shabu bole. Sine x y. Do you agree with me? Kaka. How about integral of the third part? By p y. They are asan. Y square over two. By actually, I'm going to say two y dy. Y square over two. Y square. Do you agree with me? Plus what? Cheers, Annie. Not dy. 
right? Not gy. Gx or h of x, up to you. Yx, because maybe earlier we have a function. When you took a derivative, it was changed to the zero. Maybe x, x square sine of x, I don't know. Square root of x, I don't know. But I am sure about if I have an x here, maybe zero. If I don't have anything, means I don't have anything. Clear, Kaka? So now we found f of x, which is equal to, I don't know, let me, 2x, uh -huh. x e to 2y. x e to power 2y, a, what else? Minus sine xy, minus sine xy, plus y squared, plus h of x. Do you agree with me, Kaka? This is the fourth step. How about then, so first checking, second, finding m and n, third, which one is used, fourth, Integral, fifth one is what? Huh? Derivative, partial derivative, thank you. Yalla, partial derivative of f, of partial derivative of x is equal to m. I'm going to use the other one, one, yeah? Good, so it's equal to what? Yalla, left a key, zito. Equal to what? Derivative by x. Hello? Day? So we what? By x, kaka de parcha parcha. Am I right? Huh? Diane, yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Bash this down. Is equal to what? Drivati era? By x is equal to what? x of x e to the power 2i is constant. Am I right? Bash. Minus. Derivative of sine, cosine, xy. Derivative of angle by x, only y. And now you are better. Derivative of y squared by x, huh? zero. Derivative of h, h prime. Do you agree with me? Kaka, do you agree with me? I don't think so. Good. Sorry? Why? Which one? Yeah. I mean, Kama X. Derivative sine does it, sine XY. Derivative. A derivative of sine, a kata chi, a kata cosine. So, the integral book. Oh, integral book. Zamo kamali. Ah, manali. Oh, integral book. Manali. Oh, integral. On the vetia and la cachana, but pay y lire. On a kata x. Hama bali x. Regata. Was there a one to the little partial derivative of those? You need to go home. Do it one by one. Believe me, later on you'll mix everything. Record it here. You don't have a you don't need to be hesitate. Watch it, watch it two times, maximum three times. You don't need more. But the important thing is you solve it by yourself. Step by step. Good. Now this is the left side. How about right side? Right side is what? Our erebu. How about uh, right side is equal to what? M. M it was what? I don't know. Allah. Let me paste here. Let me paste here again. So I'm going to write M, then the, later I'm going to delete it. So equal to, let me rewrite here, rewrite E to Y minus Y cosine XY plus H prime of X. Okay, equal to, where's m? e to power 2y minus y cosine 
x, y. Am I right, Jamaat? Any question? Okay, now that one will eliminate that one, that one will eliminate that one. So means that H prime equal to what? To zero. So how about H? Because I want H. I'll get what? Constant. So what did we do? Partial, integral, derivative, integral. One, yeah? uh, you can see, three times we are going to use, bring it back, use, bring back. But in each case, one of them is by, by y, the second is by x. The second by y, you need to be practiced. So you're going to see. So why we, we find this one? Because we, we know our f of x, y, it was, it was, it was what? Uh -huh, look at here. It was x e to power 2y, okay, minus sine xy plus y squared plus c. H of x was c. You can recall that one as a c1, c2, up to you. Then this is your solution. Clear, dears? Yes. Briefly, yes. First check to the exactness. Tamam? Second, use, for example, that one. Okay? Then, third, integral both sides by dx. Clear? Tamam? Fourth, you'll get f of x, y, something plus g of y. You got it? Then, make a partial by y. You will get something g prime of y. Clear? Write this result. The result of here. To be equal to n. Is that clear? You will find g prime of y equal to something. Make an integral again by y. You will get the value of g y equal to something. Put this result. Put substitute g y value in step, which step, who knows? Number four, thank you. Done. 10, make f, x, y, b, c. Oh, done. How about if the student told, uh, ask, how about if I use something else? The same step, partial y to n, okay? Take dy, dy n. You got it, dear? Then you will get something, h of x. You'll find something. Take a partial by x, you'll get something, h prime by x. Clear? Then you'll get something, h prime by x, and make it to be m then you will find h prime of x equal to something take the derivative by x you will get h of x clear put h of x in the value in the step four you will get it the same now it's clear everything okay if it's clear show me how to solve that one Yalla, how we solve that? But you, I'm going to solve for you, but please help me. 
I need your help, okay? Yalla, step by step. Is it exact? I don't know right now. I need to change it to what? To so I'll get what? Y1 minus X squared dy equal to X Y squared minus cosine X sine Y dx. Now let me make the formula that we like it. Uh, that was dx, so I'm going to change it. So I'll get what? I'll get minus x y squared plus cosine x sine x dx plus y 1 minus x squared dy. Am I right? Boy, join is again join in Cosine x sine x minus x y square dx plus y 1 minus x square dy equal to 0. Do you agree with me? So where is m? Where is n? Check for exactness. Of course, exact. Okay? And is equal to 2x. We did it. Is equal to 2x. Both side, partial, partial. Okay, now I'm going to use partial f by partial y equal to n kaka. Why? Why I went to the n? Because n is easier. Uh -huh. You can see the n is easier. That's why. Maybe your friend is going to partial n by partial x. So, okay, nobody say is wrong. Okay, so now. I'll say partial f or partial y equal to y1 minus x squared. Then third step, take a derivative integral by dy. You'll get what? f of xy equal to what? y squared over 2. That one will be like a constant. Just I have y, so y squared over 2 plus what? H of X. Clear. Yalla, what's the next step? They kaka. Don't sleep. Tell me. Next step. Kera, kera. Huh? F of what? F. So we need to find by X because we have an X here. Clear. What's equal to M? I know. That's for sure. Thank you, Allah. So. I say partial f, let me find the partial f. I say is equal to a partial of here. Partial of here by, come on. By x, I will get what? y squared over 2. 0 minus 2x. Am I right? Y, this is number. number. That's a variable. Plus h prime of x equal to m. So, will be minus y squared x, h prime of x is equal to, let me check, m. Where is m? Find for me. Yalla, jamaat. Cosine sine minus x, y squared. Cosine sine of x. Minus y x y square. Right? Now it remains what? Am I right? We need to integrate h because I want s to bring it back to the equation number four. Step number four. So h of x means that derivative or integral of here by dx. Derivative of cosine box d box. Do you remember? Yeah. So we have a derivative of here is exist outside. So I say is equal to one time we need a minus. So I have a minus. Cosine 2x over 2 plus c. Now we put an h in equation number 4 and you will get the result. 
we got it. So f of x, y does equal to something. Oh, and put the edge here. Here you are. Look at here. Here's the example. Here's f of x, h. Here's h prime. Here's equalization to m. Here's integral of h prime. Now we put it in equation num uh, step number four. And you will get that one. Any question, dears? Any question about here? But really, I know maybe 60% you got. 60, no more. 60, 70, depends. But please go to home, solve to these three examples, all of them, then go to exercises. Otherwise, you cannot control for final. You have a separable, you have a homogeneous, now you have an exact. Uh -huh. The difficulty starts if you are not studying. If you study, it's very easy. Just you recognize it, yeah, it's exact, and do it. Clear.